Mrevi, rewa tena nione. Rewa. Ha? Nika tuwaka, ene jo yure nyonyo vya kwa gotho. Oki na haa rigoro uruwa menja. Una rewa nini gotho? Uleza kunyo po berini? Ebura rakwa dunia. Sleep here on the earth. Sleep. Hi, Mzuri Sana. And Sandy Sana. Thank you. This is Founders Connect. Yes. Thank you for giving us this opportunity. You're welcome. Thanks yeah. for even thinking about us. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes. I'm sure you know this. I, I have seen this house on in set. on set many yeah. times before. Mm, okay. Ah, yeah. yeah. And so this is Auntie Jumima. So this is Auntie. I'm just from wrapping up a shoot. Yes. So I don't know. You want to talk to me as Auntie or Wangari? <laughs> Let's do Wangari. Let's Wangari. do Wangari. Yes. <laughs> sawa. All right. Thanks. Imagine is sawa. How was the shoot? Shoot was awesome. We've had a lot of fun. Yeah. The best thing about our work is we have fun. You have fun as we work. Well, as we work. Yeah. Oh. So let me change. Okay. Then I come join you. Sawa. So. Thank you so much for giving us this opportunity. You're welcome. Yes. Mm. Excited. Aki, thank you. The brand has grown. It from... has. Guy. Yeah. Ha. <laughs> yeah. So let's yes. let's let's go back. Mm -hmm. Let's revisit your journey. Now, okay. Um, the last time I think I met you, mm -hmm. you were doing short videos with your phone. Yes. Tell us how that um, has transitioned to where we are now. To where we are today. Yes. Of course, if you're not growing, you're not doing something. Mm. So with time, okay, first we, we continued shooting with the phone until now it week at a time we had now brands coming on board. So brands wanted to advertise with us. So now of course a brand will want something better, something more quality. So now we brought in the producer now. You, his name is Martin. So Niana to shoot here most of the videos and I edit and then we share with the client. Of course now that came with the growth of the brand and now when we have now brands coming on board, of course, yeah. Mm. Mm. How long did you take to be where you are and, and for brands to start? Believing in you. Um, a whole year, because I started doing the videos in April 2016. The first engagement was September 2017. Wow. Yes. So a whole year of not being paid, yes. no nothing. Yes. Just creating. Content. Just creating content. Yes. Yeah. How was that journey for you? It was tough. I gave up at some point. I stopped doing the videos because I could look like I could look at people like Jugush. I looked up to Jugush so much. I still do. So me and every video he was doing was an advert, was a placement. And I was like, wow, me and Ukulini. And then I started asking myself, am I it's because I'm doing my videos in Kuyo? You know, I was thinking maybe I'm limiting myself. Brands want people who are speaking the national language. But then my friend told me, you don't need to stop. You have a, a niche audience, which is the Gikoyo audience. Just keep pushing. And okay, nika quit kidogo alafu nika rudi, nika rudi, nika rudi. And then brands start coming in. Mm. And then once once you do or once you work with one brand, the rest just come. Mm. Yeah. So before you started doing these videos, were mm. you doing um, something else before? Uh, yes, I am an accountant by profession. I was working as an accountant in a firm in Westlands. Wow. Yes, and a very then, boring profession, I must <laughs> say, for someone like me. Yes. Doing the same thing over and over again is yeah. not my thing. So, uh, your first videos, mm -hmm. how, how are they? Did you just create them? And when did you see now that mm. there was there was an audience that was really enjoying mm. your craft? The videos. So, yeah. The first video, like I said, I did it in April 2016, about the way Kiku women ask for sex. Ukaheri, that's what they say. So it was me, it annoys me. Me, you can use it by then, takutukana kidogo. So me doing that video was so that someone can notice my talent, my craft, and ani toe kwa accounts, ani place kwa media. So vile nili shoot, we, hiyo nili tukanwa. So it got the fair share of trending, ili trend sana. But the backlash that came with it, we. And then they choose the photo where you're not looking so good. Kwanza the bloggers is on the wali to me. Ni litu kano am say. So after that ni kinda quiet kidogo. Because yeah. Liza, where? Sasa in donataka in yeke kwa media na do ni that to So I went quiet kidogo. Then in September I attended a wedding. Yanauko home. And I noticed Auntie Wakeki. Vile wanakuga wana tisha tisha na kakizungu. Mm. I was like, let me try to do another one now. A more funnier one. Because that was a bit controversial. Yeah. If funny nyone kama itanipele kama alinataka. Mm. Wee si litembea. 
that one went that is now what gave birth to auntie jemima because i call the auntie auntie jemima yeah people were like that's the character you should stick to yeah but then in my mind i was like no i want to explore so many characters you guys don't know what i have mm. but then one friend jeff kuria told me you need to stick to that auntie character grow the brand fast before thinking of exploring into other characters mm. and that's what i did mm. and we, I'm, i'm glad and i'm happy to say that we've grown yeah we have grown we have grown yes so now um and jemima creatives mm -hmm. you have other people that i see now acting yes. with you it yes. has become a brand yes it has what are the things that you have learned through the way in terms of creating a brand mm -hmm. in the creatives industry mm. the number one thing i've learned is uh, you need a lot of discipline in the industry i think you need discipline everywhere anywhere else whether you are creative whether you whatever profession you are in discipline is very important number two, consistency you have to be consistent the moment you stop doing what you're doing people forget very fast so your comeback might be a bit hard number three, you need people people say that um when you walk alone you go they say you'll go far mm -hmm. but when you walk with people you'll go further So I I started doing the videos alone. I brought in Wajiro and then Kilonzo came, then Wananse, then Godo. So that has brought a whole new um bigger audience because now there are people who relate to me as a mother, there are people who relate to Godo as a teenager, Wajiro as a daughter, Wananse as a friend, Kilonzo is our our guy who helps us with work. Mm. So I think but my biggest one has been you need people to move forward or to move further you can't work alone you can't work alone mm -hmm. yes mm -hmm. you need people all right so mm -hmm. the question that many people will ask you, yes is there money in the creative industry yes there is money but money comes with your consistency and persistence and the way you position your brand i think what what i've seen most people struggle with is positioning your brand our brand is a family setup so even when we are approaching brands we approach brands by the way we don't wait for them so once you position your brand know what audience you talk to who's your target audience so that way you'll be able to go to oh this brand works with mafuta ya kupika sabuni ya kuoga these are family essential products those are things we can work with yeah. so money comes after you position your brand well and know your target audience okay yes there's something you said um earlier on now being a vernacular yes. brand yes. so you, your videos are more Kikuyu, all kikuyu all kikuyu yes did that affect your brand in any way in terms of even engagements with some some clients yeah or do people feel like you are too kikuyu and, mm. and probably does that hinder your audience i would tell you yes and no yes because we have had instances where a brand will approach you they've seen your work they call you for meetings they want to pitch and then they are like so what happens now to the people who don't speak kikuyu So we tell them on special occasions or on special requests we put subtitles for clients who request. But what we tell them is this is a niche audience that of course you need the niche audience. So it has really affected when it comes to pitching and branding, but then again I'm happy with the people I serve because you cannot again you cannot serve the whole the whole world. I wish fresh akila mtu wesi ice cream. <laughs> so I'm happy with this brand with this niche that we found. Mm. Uh, yeah, it has and it has not. So mm. we are happy. Yeah. Mm. Okay. Mm. Um how many brands have you worked with? Wow, quite a number. Quite a number. I think 10 10 plus. Mm. Yes. Okay. Yeah, and we are happy they come back to us. They tell us you have an amazing audience that converts. Yeah. Because there are those who want sales. There are those who just want campaigns messages to go out there mm. and they get the messages. Okay. Yeah. Um sometimes mm. um do you find it do you find a struggle between like as you said creating as a simply ads mm -hmm. but also creating content there's a difference between where there's so many ads yeah and every every video you're doing is an ad mm. and and content how do you strike a balance we always try because the audience will always tell you sometimes you do so many placements and we need the money yes atuzi kata pesa so we need the money but at some point you'll feel you've given them too many placements so we always try to strike a balance mm. like today we were shooting last week we did um a few two placements mm. so this week we've done two non placements uh, so we try as much as possible this week we have a placement and a non placement mm. yeah how many shoots do you have how many videos do you churn out every week Twice a, Twice a week. Yes. How many videos do you have so far? I, 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 <laughs> what? 
200 and something. 200 and something? Yes. Wow. Well, I'll check. Uh -huh. Yeah, it should be 200 and something. All right. Yeah. Let's uh, go to the milestone of reaching 100,000 yes. YouTube subscribers. subscribers. Yes. Um, I know that there's something I'd like to ask you about how to monetize on YouTube. It's mm. something that probably people don't know. Mm. But how was the feeling of getting to 100,000 subscribers? Um, wow. It was... Um, wow. What, what will I say? It was... It was mind blowing for me because mm. again, this is a vernacular channel, and then you've had those moments of client is asking you, so what about the non non QQ speakers? Yeah. But then again, we have over a hundred k subs, and I'll tell you what, we have non QQs who follow us and watch our content religiously. Yeah. So to me, that was a milestone that I'm so happy and I'm so grateful, and thank you so much to all our subscribers. Mm. Continue subscribing, continue sharing to your friends. Mm. We are more than happy. More than happy. Yes. Great. So how do you monetize videos? If someone wants to start monetizing mm. videos mm. on YouTube, yeah. um, they say probably when you, you have to reach a thousand subscribers. Four thousand watch time. Um, so just tell me how, yeah. how, how you do it. So number one, I always tell new new creatives, sit down and learn the industry first, the digital industry first. Google is, should be your friend. Go Google how many subscribers, how many watch time, what, what is the watch time they check for you to subscribe to your channel, to, to, for them to monetize your channel. Then once you have monetized your channel, now you need to work on the security. Because again, we've had so many people, um, channels, I was in a hakiwa, a lot of people are saying people are copying, like what happened to Flakwen, I'm so sorry. Um, his channel was pulled down because we had so many duplicate um, channels doing or posting his stuff. So you need to work on that security. If if you want to, you can sign under an MCN, a multi-channel network, like we are signed under a multi-channel network. So what that does is that they give your channel an ID. So when you have a channel ID, it's like your national ID. Nobody can duplicate your work. Even when you check on our channel videos, you cannot download our videos because we are under an MCN. Our channel is managed by that MCN. Mm. So it's important, but I always tell people, don't make that decision yourself if you need to be under an MCN or if you can do a solo monetizing because there are people who are doing that. But you need to work on the security of your channel. Love your brand, protect it and respect it. Mm. Yeah. What are the issues affecting the industry? Mm. Um, as you've said, there's yeah. a lot of duplications of yes. people taking content. Videos. Yeah. Apart from that, what else? Um, the industry, there is number one, there is um, trolling and uh, cyber bullying. Um, what was the other thing? Brands just want to to give you stuff for free in return for you know mentions yes. and videos. So I always tell brands who come for, for advice from us, don't take um, stuff for free in, in exchange for mentions. To talk about kukula exposure, tell them to give you, even if it's just that 2K, for a mention on Insta stories, tell them you need a brand involvement fee for them to for you to post their stuff. Because at the end of the day, once once I do my nails at your place, I pay. Then you want me to go do a mention on my page. Then you get so many clients as a result of that. You'll make money, but in turn, what will I get? So don't do stuff for free. Charge them. Respect your brand. That's what I always tell people. We don't take things for free, by the way. Mm -hmm. We always you want to give us shoes to advertise for you. Fine, give us. But pay us a brand involvement fee. Mm -hmm. The other thing that is affecting our industry is um, most, um, what will I say, um, under under quoting or over quoting. You in a, in a mm -hmm. So a lot of brands, a lot of young creatives don't know how to rate their, their, um, their rate card. Mm -hmm. So you need to have a rate card. Get a manager if you can. You should have a manager who has that business side, because you, you are an artist, maybe you are a biashara, but get someone to manage your channel or your brand, you at least can get a pay Yeah. Okay, so mm. you take us through your rate card. Uh, <laughs> we have different rate cards, depending on the size of your business, number mm -hmm. one. Mm -hmm. And then it also ranges from how long you want to engage us. So we have engagements of one-off, and then we have long term. Mm. Long term, the minimum is three months. Mm. So in those three months, we agree on the maximum is two videos per month. Because again, we don't want too many adverts. And we have grown. A company like Expedition Masai Safaris has had us for now is one, one and a half years now. Because um, we bring them business. And our, so we have rate cards depending on the size of your business. Mm. So I'll not tell you the figures <laughs> yet. <laughs> but when mm. you come to us, be sure that we once we, we look at your profile yeah. and your brand, 
we'll be able to rate you according to the size because hatuwezi pay corporate yeah. uh, rate card ya SME na hatuwezi pay SME rate card ya corporate yeah. so we always strike that back yeah because there was a huge backlash with uh, um, Nasenya Asia yeah she, shared, used, her shared her rate card, card yes everybody was like oh my god just because you were dancing on this but it's a creative she's a brand yeah, she, she has an audience yes. yeah. yeah at the end of the day you see these people they will not pay you mm-hmm. they will give you the viewership they will give you the um, the subscribers and all that mm. but we need the money from these other brands yes. to keep us going yeah. at least we're entertained for free we need <laughs> money at the end of the day yeah, yeah. yeah. so mm. monetizing has been it's 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 one sort of the most um, uh-huh. hardest thing to do really now. no no is mm. it now I'm just saying i don't know I don't think it's hard mm. but when it's I was just when, knowing how to mm. yeah no by this sit brand. down read ask questions go to people who've been there tell mm. them help me how do you do this how do you do that once your channel hits I think right now they are checking 4000 watch time once you hit 4000 you can monetize your channel then una songa kusonga what is 4000 watch time um so youtube has something called just like facebook you're given analytics by youtube so mm. you download an app called youtube studio mm. so that gives you all those analytics so you'll be able to check um what is my watch time currently we are at 5 million watch mm. time so you'll be able to check that once yours hits uh, 4000 now you can monetize again google how to monetize your channel mm. yeah Google don't be your don't just open and then there are people who are posting there are so many restrictions on youtube there are people who are not earning yeah. just because they say that this content is meant for kids i've seen a lot of musicians who have no info about youtube so wana complain oh how to make do to meshafikisha 1 million but kitu kidogo tu walieka waki upload wakasema is this content meant for kids yes so always monetize mm. yeah okay. so those small small things just just fa- fanya fanya homework usifungue okay. tu okay we we're seeing a lot of growth in, yeah. in terms of digital marketing mm. um and we've seen a lot of now companies now going to digital way creators. yeah mm. and we've seen now mm. a deep in advertising for this other big companies mm. Mm. what is the future of mm. digital marketing for you I, for me the future is very bright in digital marketing and this is what I always tell people when we come or when you call us we tell you we have over 450,000 um audience across all channels so you're very sure that these are the number of people who will watch your video these are the number of people who will see your stuff and then we also give you the um, what is as compared to when you advertise on this other bigger um, me, um Media, m- medias audience, yeah because yeah. you're not sure how many people will watch on that day but sisi tunakuletea tunakwambia these are the number of people who follow us these are the number of um reach we have per day per per, per what blah blah and then we send you reports at the end of whether it's a campaign so that you're able to see and and all that and then again there is feedback for example when we advertise something on facebook like when we advertise for crown by makena people will ask so how much is the wig so we tell you here then we also invite the company to come and respond to the questions yeah. so there is more genuine feedback in digital marketing so people are making money through digital people marketing. are yeah if you mm. talk to brands that we've worked with they are mm. like wow we got this number of clients yeah. and then we also like working with clients that um embrace what is it called um especially this tech tech what are they called um kama kama online marketing yeah sometimes they they are able to create affiliate affiliate companies yeah whereby they are able to to check how many clients came as a result of advertising through and change your mind so that way we also we also oh, know so yeah you can, you can we can tell the sales from the advert yes. so even when they are paying you or even when you're negotiating you promised us this This is, this is what we, we got yeah, yeah. Mm, it has worked before we are so happy okay mm. so for you for antija member what is the future um what is the future are you still going to continue with um, mm. video yeah um, where do you see the we we will is? continue with the videos because of course there is the, the digital the future is in the digital market yes. and in the digital content yeah. creation yeah. but i'm also working on a few other things number one, we have we launched our csr project 
um, about protecting the teenagers from you know engaging in early sexual behaviors and then we're also working on another project which i do not want to disclose yet yes, yes. but big things coming big things coming yes um let's talk shortly about your radio mm -hmm. show yes you are now on air oh yes <laughs> i have a I full think, show i think the first thing Kai. you told me how excited yes. and how you really wanted to be on radio yes for the longest for time. the longest time yes so so when i did my first video in 2016 radio africa launched the first vernacular station the yes. following the following i think that that december of 2017. Mm. so i was trending and they were launching and they were looking you know they were poaching yeah. uh, so i was called and i was told to go try co-host with joe wajiroge in the morning yes uh -huh. early in the morning his show breakfast in anzanga 6 a.m yes. so i was there by six but man, well, you know, when you're co-hosting, there has to be chemistry. There was no chemistry. There was no chemistry. I Jogu is a big name, Bana. Na mi se indo ni mechipuka kwa digital. So I told the head head of radio then, maze mi si zi co-host na Jogu. Can mm. be fine. So what else can you do? Um, so to kanza kufikiria nani mingine tuneza co-host. Of course, without that chemistry, yeah. it would have been hard. Mm. So he told me to do a segment bashing Kikuyu men. Mm. So in a hilarious way, telling them how they should take their wives out, mm. how you should buy them flowers and chocolate. Mm. And so I did that for, I was on probation for three months. And then I did that segment, a two-minute segment for three three years now. Mm. I did it I nearly Maliza August this year. Mm. So I did that for three years. But then I was always pushing him. I always wanted a show. I was telling him, I think now I've grown. I've seen how you, you should be on air. Mm. Give me a chance. So mm. I kept pushing him. He would tell me, go do demo, send me soon. And I will production of a demo. Nampelekea badu, badu. For three years. For three years. I was doing that so small segment. Yeah. yeah. And and people used to think I'm a big presenter somewhere. Yeah. Yeah. But the good thing is, you see that small segment, yeah. it grows up here, brand yangu kwa mainstream. Yeah. Yeah. We would go for road shows and people would be asked, before we go now, the presenters, people would be asked, Munango jia nani? Tunataka uyo anti jemima na tukanaga wana ume. So the, the response from out there was so immense. I was like, wow, I'm so humble. Mm. So this year... I, I I was like me by the kama muni pay show ni mechoka. Yeah. I need a bigger cha you know umakuna mahali unafikanga unaskia niko stagnant. Yeah. Mm. I need a bigger challenge. So me was like so guys it's been real me sasa hii segment ni mifanya miaka tatu. I think and I was hoping to get a show this year but since things are not working adios muchachos. Yeah. And then so you actually left. Yeah. Uh -huh. I wrote to the new there's a new PC. I wrote to I wrote to him the email. I told him now it's been a long time coming. Thank you so much. The nini was amazing. I can't be born on a quit sai. Tunakupushi upate show. I was like, aki kikam muniambie. But for now, <laughs> so one day he calls me in August. Yeah. No July twenty first. I was like, unambanga mungumgani na konsilers. Ah, I'm sending them a contract. Yeah. It's like, yeah, your contract is here. Come sign it. Mm. So I am now the on on drive comedian. Yeah. Our show is from three pm to seven pm, Monday to Friday, mm. and then I have my own show now on Sunday. It's called Cocktail Sunday, mm. from eleven to three pm on Gokena FM, and um, I have the amazing, the most assiduous villain as a sema, the best, the best co-host. Mm. Ever. Mm. He's the presenter and the co-host. Yeah. Cindy. Mm. Yeah. Mm. He has taught me a lot. Ali ni fundisha desk na ni kalana, I think one week. That desk. Yeah. Yeah. Kunini. Yeah. Na one week. Then he's very selfless. We are friends. Yeah. He's the first friend I made at Radio Africa at Gukena FM when I was doing the segment. Mm. So ni kwazileza. Na wewe siku moja tutafanya na wewe show. Show, show siku moja. So yeah. Big things coming. Yeah. My, my biggest prayer is to be on breakfast one day. Yeah. I'd really love to be the first person my audience listens to in, yeah, the morning. in the morning. Yeah. That would be amazing. Can't wait. Um advice. I mean people want to enter into the creative industry. Yeah. This month you're focusing on the creative industry. Okay. What would be your advice to someone who is interested okay. in that line? Okay. Number one, uh be authentic. Get your own or come up with your own um unique craft. People follow what is unique. People want to see because auntie is doing auntie, uyu mama nani. Mm. Why should you come and do the same same thing? People want to see authentic, unique content. Number two, you have to be patient. You have to be disciplined. You have to be persistent, and you have to look for money. Don't wait for brands to come. Mm. There is no shame in approaching brands. Sisi tukikaukiwa, 
we tunaendanga tuna knock milango mm. saizi saizi ukam they always mm. call us when they have campaigns big companies will call us but we always go looking for those other brands the other thing hakuna pesa ndogo so don't fight to do big or to work with big corporate brands one secret i've learned and i was told this by someone senior somewhere mm. you need the small brands for cash flow no no easy brands in kwambia our budget is this much mm. can you give us this so you negotiate with them you need that for cash flows because corporates come once once our jangi ku sign for a longer period because corporates imefika but the small brands that are growing hata wakikupea pesa ndogo hakuna pesa ndogo work na hiyo ndio itakufanyia cash flow the other thing is um Uh, once you become a public figure and there is cyberbullying and there is uh, trolling you are human if it hurts you it hurts you but make sure you take care of yourself mm-hmm. take care of your mind your mind is your biggest um you know um investment you need your mind to create content so it's good to take care of your hapa mm-hmm. atoki troliwa aje go talk to people go talk to therapists mimi mimi nisaidia sana mm-hmm. and then yeah grow grow your brand mm-hmm. uh, and you need people you need people yeah, yeah. thank you so You're much welcome. thank you for your time thanks for having me right. i'm so happy now I'm, i'm sure you really need to go to your studio. yes i need to get ready i need to get going yeah. you're trying to prep show okay love to ngie tuongee na wakenya ile side ngine ya radio <laughs> sawa yeah. asante sana karibu sana okay. thank you so much all right, all right.